Welcome back, race fans, to the second qualifying session of Poverty Hollow's Spectra Flame Wide Open. Here before you are the remaining 12 competitors that are vying to take their place, possibly even the pole, from this guy right here. Solar CX-4, while this is technically, I thought it was a Spectra Flame Silver, it's actually a Zamac. But I suppose we're going to let it ride because we're already in it. He ran an 8.5. And it's going to be a tough time to beat. But that's not to say that there isn't some speed here. This session is what we consider the heavy half. And it wasn't by design. But most of these cars in this session are metal on metal. With just a few exceptions of the rule. But enough of the preview. Let's get down to racing. Qualifier number 13, trying from lane 2, is the sleek Tesla Model S. This car is just under 34 grams and solely picked by Dave at We Race Diecast. Into the spiral and coming on nice and clean. Looks to be a faster lap than one. Let's see what he got at the line. It is indeed a faster lap than lane 1. Qualifier number 14 brings to us the Classic Nomad. This car is a popular choice with three drivers and is shod with Goodyear Eagle tires. Let's see if it has both quick and stick. Sound and strong going into the spiral. It runs a straight, if not a little bit languid pace. She comes down to the line. Doesn't seem so terribly happy. Sporting gorgeous emerald green Spectra Flame paint, a set of red, red lines, and over 51 grams of weight, Nitty Gritty Kitty brings quite the package to qualifying run number 15. Let's see how she sets up. Once again, a nice, clean, straight run. Could this be the contender that you're looking for? A nine flat says she's right in the middle of everything. Sitting pretty in Spectra Flame Red and a set of white walls. Shoebox brings a whole set of style to qualifier number 16. Definitely one to watch for. What does that rip off? There you go. There's your winner for now. After Shoebox's gloriously insane performance in run 16, number 17 has quite a lot to live up to. Lucky for this NSX, it's a hybrid, not in the sense that you think. But those ID wheels are strapped to a metal chassis. Is it going to be enough? Looking strong. A bit slow in that corner. She slows down coming out of the last corner too. Right in the fat of the performance, a 9.431. 
a direct sibling to Nitty Gritty Kitty, qualifier number 18 is King Kuda, spo sporting the very, very similar theme. Beautiful Spectra Flame. Is it gray? Is it blue? Who knows? Slate. Let's call it that. Red line wheels and 57 grams of weight. And he's off. Into the spiral. Comes out like a rocket. Nice and straight. Just like Nitty Gritty Kitty. But is it faster on the end straight? It looks like... Oh man, their performance is damn close. 9.037. If you know your classic Hot Wheels speed, qualifier number 19 should pose as possibly a very scary car for you. Wind Splitter, based on the BMW M1, has the makings of a great performance. Metal on metal, ultra Hot Wheels, over 50 grams in weight. Let's see if the hype is true. go. Beautiful performance, much better than round one. Qualifier number 20 is sporting a set of special 25th anniversary black walls. These wheels are an incredible performer whenever they're right. Let's see if the 68 Mustang can do it. Definitely a strong run. We have some wiggles, but hot damn, that's a good time. If you could say there was a sleeper in this competition, qualifier number 21 might just very well be it. The Ford GT was largely ignored by everybody, save for Big Mike of NZ. That looks like a strong performance already, except for that slide. Ah, big drop in speed. 9038 puts it right in the middle of everything. Wide, low, and of a simple design, plus a good bit of weight. Qualifier number 22 and the Datsun 510 here has a good formula going for it. Will it stand up? So far looking good up until that trip. Will it be better than the... Yes, it is better than the first run. We're keeping this one. Making a strong name for itself three years ago whenever it first came out. Qualifier number 23 and the 68 Cougar looks to maintain an excellent reputation. It's being backed by our reigning champion Sam Hall, so you know it has to be worth at least something. Looking strong. Looking strong. It's a sub-9. Good territory.
our final qualifier and far from least. This splitting image was backed by only one individual, which would be Spy Dude. 42 grams of weight says that he might go pretty far. And indeed, it sounds good. She comes shooting out of the spiral. This may be another one, folks. 8.495. Look at that 290 mile an hour trap speed. And so you have it. A championship with some surprises and very few duds. I expect that this is going to be highly competitive. And it's going to be entertaining as hell to film. And I'm sure it's going to be great for you to watch. May the best Spectra Flame win. These are your groups.